It's more than just shoplifting. It's organized retail theft, which got me curious after watching these videos posted online. They show people ripping off stores, like this Target in North Portland. Y'all stealing? I mean, it looks like they're stealing a lot of stuff with no real fear of getting caught. In many ways, it kind of reflects some of the broader issues we're dealing with in our city, like crime, accountability, and drugs. What's the problem? This is the kind of community I don't want to live in, man. People take shit out of the store. Because I just watched them take eight of those sweaters off the rack and walk straight out. Tell me about this video. I'm fascinated by it. I just see stuff getting loaded into a shopping cart. Yep. Sean is the guy who shot the video last September. He didn't want me to show his face. People go about their day oblivious to these kinds of activities that are going on. Unfortunately, it's becoming more and more common. He worked but in yeah, loss prevention for years. For Fred Meyer, for Safeway, for Home Depot. And, uh, but got out well. because it was just and too frustrating. I've, yeah, during that time, I've just seen things get more and more challenging and more and more difficult. Most retailers, they don't allow their workers to physically stop shoplifters. It's too risky. People get hurt. Instead, they just take the loss. And the bad guys have figured that out. Last year in Portland, there were more than 3,000 cases of shoplifting reported to police. But that's likely a gross undercount. A recent survey found in most shoplifting cases, Portland retailers, they don't even bother filing police reports, citing a lack of police response, lack of prosecution, the incidents are just low level or company policy. I would say it's at a crisis level right now in Oregon. How so? Just the amount of, of, of groups that we see uh, coming into stores on a daily basis. We see some of the same individuals that are hitting multiple retailers um, every, single, every single day. Jeremy Girard is with the Oregon Retail Crime Association of Oregon. Who's getting hit? Every retailer. Big and small? Big and small, yes. He says some stores, again, these are individual stores, are losing as much as one to five million dollars a year to theft. And what kind of stuff is being stolen? You know, anything that has a res resale value is, is typically being targeted. Um, some of the items that we see that are stolen most often are uh, fragrances, um, high-end purses, Levi, Nike. So to protect themselves, stores are locking down items, like detergent, leaving shelves empty, and hiring armed security as a deterrent. But even that isn't enough. There's a stream of stolen merchandise just walking out the door. In the time we've been driving around this huge parking lot, what's the likelihood that someone has committed a theft? I'd say it's pretty likely. I've. Uh... I'm almost surprised we haven't seen someone run out of doors. We drove by a few of these businesses. It's that common. It's that common, yes. These stores are being hit on a daily basis. On a daily basis, yes. More than once? More than once. This surge in retail theft not only puts workers and shoppers at risk, but also drives up prices. And the crime, it bleeds into surrounding neighborhoods. They'll, they'll just walk from the Nike store, come down here. Oftentimes with armful of armful clothes and bags. sneakers. Paul Greenidge is a pastor at New Song Community Church in Northeast Portland. It sits just a block away from the Nike Community Store, which has become a target for thieves. They come running through the church parking lot with stolen merchandise all the time. What's your reaction when you see those videos? Holy cow. <laughs> Did they really do that? I, I'm a little, it's like. Because it's so blatant. Yes, exactly. I was going to use the word brazen. It just, it's like, really? The pastor believes this crime, retail theft, it tears at the fabric of our community. It seems like this cuts deeper than just shoplifting. Well, I think it speaks to the, the general idea that when the law is in place to help people do the right thing. And when the law is broken and it's not enforced, I think that's our problem. And so the people that are breaking the law 
have been given a free pass. The solution? Retailers say they need more help from police, basically more officers. And prosecutors have got to go after shoplifters. Plus, there need to be tougher laws. And they make another important point here. We're not talking about people stealing food to survive. This is organized retail crime. It involves people stealing merchandise to be resold. Over the years, police have busted some major crime rings that move from store to store or city to city, which does raise an interesting question. Where's all this stolen merchandise going? I mean, just sitting outside the Nike store, we've seen all kinds of people walk right by security, then run off with armfuls of clothing right off the rack and shoe boxes as many as they can hold. And it's coordinated, right? There's cars oftentimes sitting waiting for them as a getaway. Look at this guy, right now. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Can I just ask you, what do you do with all the stolen merchandise? I'm a reporter. I'm with I'm with Channel 8. Can you tell me, do you sell it to someone? Yeah, your wife's boyfriend. What can we do to, as a community to help stop this? Do you sell it to someone? Just told you your wife's boyfriend. <laughs> well, that didn't get us very far. Store security did confirm all that stuff. It was stolen. Police they offer a better explanation. Basically, someone steals merchandise. They're called a booster. They sell the stolen goods to a middleman or a fence, often in exchange for drugs or maybe drug money. It's not uncommon for drug addicts to steal just enough to get by for the day. The stolen goods are then listed and sold at a deep discount on platforms like OfferUp, Craigslist, or eBay. Sometimes they're even sold at secondhand stores or flea markets. And a lot of this happens right out in the open. I mean, we've been watching people haul all kinds of stolen stuff out of these stores at Mall 205. At Home Depot, one guy had a backpack full of stuff, walks right past security, the cash registers, nobody stops him. Others are running off with detergent through the parking lot, stolen shoes. One guy in particular, we watched him coming out of Target with this huge box and appliance. He goes over to some other vehicle and they talk for a while so we decide to follow them. Well next thing you know they're walking down the street with the appliance they end up at some different store a, another retailer where they unload it and it's this cycle that has neighbors retailers and police all really frustrated. Retail theft is happening at a scale we haven't seen before leading some stores to close and, and others to reduce their hours. It's also helping to fuel drug addiction and contributing to this theme that in many cases, there just aren't consequences for criminals.